Hi people, it's me, Anya, and welcome back to my channel. So, before I get into this recent weeds video, I'd like to thank you for all the support on my last video. I hope that that video and more videos to come helps normalize the conversation. Because like I said in the end of that video, booktube is a highlight reel, but it shouldn't be. I feel like it's equally important to talk about like the books that I've read recently as it is to talk about the skeletons in the closet that booktube may have so that those skeletons can come out of the closet, you know? So anyway, the first book on this list is called One of Us is Next, written by Kaylin McManus. If you don't know, this is a YA thriller and it's the sequel to One of Us is Lying, which frankly I didn't love as much as the general consensus. And I would say that One of Us is Next is better than One of Us is Lying, but only because I had lower expectations with this one as I did for the previous one, because with One of Us is Lying, I had higher expectations because everybody loved it and I just didn't. So with this one, I knew that I wasn't going to give it five stars and I ended up giving it three stars. And it had like the same like fast paced plot and intriguing plot as the previous one. I wasn't emotionally connected to the characters or anything. So some would argue that this one is technically more of a companion novel than a sequel because it doesn't follow the same exact characters but all of these characters are related somehow to the characters in One of Us is Lying. So this one does spoil One of Us is Lying. So that's why I say it's a sequel because it's set like after, but you don't really need to have knowledge of One of Us is Lying to enjoy this one. But like I said, it spoils One of Us is Lying. So if you are interested in One of Us is Lying, I would read them in chronological order, but it's not necessary. So anyway, I gave it three stars. Next book is called Charming as a Bull, written by Ben Phillip, I think. This is a YA romantic contemporary, and it's another book that I gave three stars. Because this story didn't really like stand out to me that much. It just follows this guy who can like charm everybody. He's known for being very charming, except for this one girl. And their like partnership turns into something more than either of them were expecting so that's fun honestly this felt like kind of like a more than just a pretty face knockoff like more than just a pretty face is clearly superior and this one just wasn't and like i said it didn't really like stand out to me that much and i know that by the time that i'm watching this video because as you all know i'm filming this a month in advance i just won't remember having like deep memorable memories with this book i just won't have those because this book just wasn't that good it didn't stand out to me and this is really more of an un recommendation than an actual recommendation so like i wasn't really like disappointed because i didn't really have high expectations so this book was entirely what i was expecting it to be and it just wasn't good so the next book on this list is called the other side of the sky written by amy kaufman and megan spoonell this is a YA fantasy book and it was so, so good. I ended up rating it four stars. So it has dual perspectives, North and Nim. North is a prince from the surface and Nim is like this living goddess from the sky. And they're both tied together, they're connected because of this prophecy. And they are like, they have to choose between fate and duty. And they have to choose between like, saving their people also coming to this forbidden bond between them this book is so 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 good amy kaufman and megan spoonell all the authors of the unearthed duology which i really, really liked but frankly this book is superior to unearthed their writing has definitely improved and it was just so so good i love the world building i love the fast-paced action-packed plot i don't know if my explanation of the synopsis like will hook you guys but i hope that it will because the other side of the sky is literally so 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 good it's just so absolutely so good i am more excited for this sequel than i was for undying after finish after finishing unearthed this book is just so 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 good i'm so excited to see what will happen next because that cliffhanger ending like is just so interesting i just don't have any idea what will happen next and i love it when a book leaves you wondering what will happen next because that is a mark of a good book this book is so so good like i said i gave it four stars 
So please, please, please read it. The next book on this list is called Majesty, written by Kathleen McGee. If you don't know, Majesty is the sequel to American Royals. This book is so, so, so good. So it's basically a, like a YA alternate history contemporary, and it's just so, so, so good. Majesty was just absolutely so, so amazing. Like, I rated this book five stars, and honestly, I wasn't really expecting to because I rated American Royals four stars, but not like four and a half stars or anything. Like, this book was just so, so good. I just fell back in love, but even more in love with these characters. Samantha, Nina, and Beatrice are such wonderful characters. It was just so, so, so good. The plot, the plot twists, the character development was just absolutely incredible. Completely, like, impeccable. I'm so, so excited for the sequel to this book because honestly, I have no idea what will happen next. And I said that when I read American Royals back in May, I think. Did I read it in May? Anyway, I didn't know what was going to happen in Majesty. And now I have no idea what's going to happen to the third book. I don't even know if it has like a release date or even a title yet. But like, I'm just so, so, so excited. I just, I'm just so excited because I'm expecting, I have such high expectations now for the third book than I had for Majesty. And honestly, I trust that Kathleen McGee can live up to those very, very high expectations. Sometimes when I have high expectations for a book, the book ends up disappointing me. But honestly, I don't think that the third book will disappoint me. So anyway, this book was five stars and it was absolutely so, so good. The last book on this list is called In the Role of Bree Hutchins, written by Nicole Mellaby, and it follows this young girl who's navigating expectations and identity, and it's this middle grade sapphic contemporary, and it is so, so, so good, and lovely, and fluffy, and like heartwarming, and it was just so good. I ended up rating it three and a half stars because it was just so good. It was just so like fluffy, and like lovely, and if I ever make a part three, which I probably will, to my favorite sapphic books with sapphic main characters, I will be including this book. It was just so, so good. good. I would recommend this book to people who enjoyed You Should See Me in a Clown because that is the closest book to this one. Like when I was reading and I was like, this reminds me of You Should See Me in a Clown, but honestly, frankly, better. You know? I don't know. This book was just so lovely, so fluffy. I really enjoyed it. Bree as a character was just like so like well done and well developed. The romance, unlike the romance and You Should See Me in a Clown, was like well developed. It was not rushed or anything. Like this book was just so good. And just like sapphic books, but not only sapphic middle grade books. I think that sapphic middle grade books are very underrated because like the more authors diversify their books which is great i just feel like i read more sapphic ya's than sapphic middle grades i don't know if my last like three sentences made any sense but anyway please read this book it is so good so the highest rating book on this list was obviously majesty it was just so so good and all of the other books in this list were also really really good so i hope you enjoy this video i hope if you did enjoy it don't forget to give it this video a thumbs up. Comment down below if these reviews are helping you choose what to read. My reviews may seem nonsensical, but maybe that's just me because like, I've said this before I think, but we are our biggest critiques and I often think that my reviews are more nonsensical than they actually are. So anyway, if you enjoy this video, let me know. Thanks for watching, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!